Hey internet, my name is Mark and I'm so happy to have you. Today I'm going to talk about six different productivity and time management systems to help you get stuff done and perhaps gain a new perspective on a system you might already use. Anyway, let's get started with the big picture project management type of things and work our way down to getting stuff done in the moment. Kanban boards are management systems that serve to provide you with a visual aid to help you organize your long-term projects and group collaborations. This helps you keep your mind off of the long-term goal so you can stay focused on what's next. A standard board uses columns to represent different stages of a project and cards that move through these columns representing items, such as moving a homework assignment from assigned to working on to review to be submitted. One of the things I use Kanban boards for is YouTube video creation, and with a software like Trello, I can give each card its own checklist, its own type of labels, and the team collaboration is where Trello really shines. From Excel to Google Sheets, the way that you organize your spreadsheets as databases of sorts can vary extensively. Beyond just an infinite number of cells, you can have a budget management system, assignments tracker, and so much more. And if you're a programmer, CSV files are a great way to organize, export, and work with data. Working directly in Google Sheets, you can work with highlighting, cell functions, formulas, and so much more. With software like Airtable, you can get even more functionality, such as labels, categories, team collaboration. Spreadsheets offer a lot of flexibility, and it is a bit of a time commitment to get them sorted out. However, once you do, that time will come right back to you. Time blocking is a tried and true way of putting aside different times of your day, or blocking aside time so that you can get your tasks done efficiently. Planning the night before is essential, and time blocking helps you do this in an organized yet flexible fashion. You can set aside time on paper with checkboxes next to each item, or have fun dragging in literal blocks of time on a calendar app. After you have this idea of what you want to do during the day, time blocking helps you put aside time and choose ahead of time what you're going to do to avoid things like analysis paralysis. And of course, never forget to schedule in some you time, some breaks, and some leniency time in case the unexpected comes up or something needs your attention immediately. One of the oldest systems, to-do lists and their simplicity offer an incredible amount of flexibility, not to mention the satisfaction of checking things off as you go along and looking back at what you've completed. Now, just as with time blocking, sorting out a day's to-dos the night before helps you immediately get started the next day, and in tandem with something like a Kanban board, you can focus on the present small tasks with your list to get going with no time for excuses. Using an app like Todoist allows you to organize to-dos in different categories, priorities, and even recurring events. Choosing a task to finally do can be really difficult. It's something called analysis paralysis. I have a video on that here if you're curious. So breaking down your to-do list into subsections and different priorities can help make your to-do list more manageable, if not more enjoyable. The premise of deep work varies quite a lot depending on who you're talking to or what the context you're talking about it in is, but the premise I want to present to you is pretty straightforward. Now that you've decided what you're going to do with your overall project management system and when you're going to do it with your time management system, the real question now is deciding how you are going to show up and finally get it done. When using deep work, the goal is to remain focused on nothing except your primary task at hand and naturally falling into a flow state once you get past the ever-present hurdle of getting started. Personally, I would advise you to create some environmental cues, something you change in your physical environment to help change your mindset. From switching rooms entirely or just turning on a lamp when it's time to work. Applications such as cold turkey help remove the risk of distraction by blocking sites and applications, giving you more time for conscious intervention before you step away from your deep work. Deep work is best to do in longer stretches of time, starting with an hour or so, but don't forget to take breaks when you need them. If you think something that has more breaks would be better for you, then that's where where the Pomodoro method comes in. Originating from a tomato shaped kitchen timer, the Pomodoro method is all about doing 25 minutes of distraction free work followed by a 5 minute break back to distraction free work and repeat. The Pomodoro method can be a great way to get started. For me, I usually work through the breaks, so I'm more of a deep work person, but for someone who's really antsy, this can be super beneficial. The breaks can be made productive, like picking things up off the ground or just getting up and stretching, and even a great way to limit your time on a task so that you're reminded to stop and switch to whatever awaits you on your Trello list, to-do list, Kanban board, whatever. 
Now, it's important to use these breaks productively, like getting up and stretching and walking around and not something like browsing social media or answering emails because those can take you far beyond your five minute break. In a minute but not yet, pause the video and take action on what I've been telling you. Make your to-do list for the rest of the day. Make your calendar for tomorrow. Put aside time to do these things right now so this video can have meaning. I'll give you five seconds to pause the video and go do it. All right. Welcome back. If you haven't already done it, it only takes about 30 seconds. If you did do it, I'd encourage you to check out some other productivity systems that might help guide you on your road if you're not ready to take action already. But otherwise, thanks again so much for watching. Have a good one. Make sure you show up today. And as always, don't forget to stay awesome.